Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Jesus Christ is Lord. Welcome to the Blessed Hope Ministries with Reverend Elesta Wilkerson and music by Linda Williams. God bless you. holy and all-wise God. We thank you for thy bountiful blessing. We thank you for all of your loving kindness and for all of your tender mercy. Lord, you've done great things for us and we're glad because you're able to lift our heavy burden. You're able to break the yoke because of the anointing. Let your Love abide right now. In Jesus' name, help us, Lord. We need your strength. We need your power. We can't get along without you. Have mercy upon us, O oh God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercy. Bless us, Lord. Let your blessing flow from on high. Have mercy upon the sick and the afflicted. Have mercy upon those that are troubled in mind. O oh Lord God, lift the heavy burden. Speak peace right now, God, in Jesus' name. We'll be so careful to give your name the glory. The honor is thine. We ask it all in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our blessed Redeemer. Amen. Praise God. 
And we'd like to consider today the letter, the letter of Paul, the epistle of Paul to the Galatians. Galatians chapter 5, verse 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ have made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. And we'd like to use for a theme, standing with Jesus. Standing with Jesus. You know, in these troubled times, we need to take a stand for right and righteousness. We need to obey God today. The words that we speak should be as oracles of God. And we should obey God's commandments. You know, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not bear false witness. And honor thy father and thy mother. That is the first commandment with a promise. So we want to do good things. As the people of God, we need to take a stand for God, standing with the Lord. You know, there's a saying that you have to stand for something or you'll fall for anything. So we want to do God's will. We are God's people. We are the sheep of his pasture. The psalmist said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endureth to all generations. What a wonderful Savior. What a mighty God we serve. You know, he's worthy of our praises. He's such a wonderful Savior. He's such a mighty God. I think about the words of the song, How Great Thou Art. O Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the world thy hands have made. I see the stars. I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power throughout the universe display. When through the woods and forest glades I wander and hear the birds sing sweetly in the trees. When I look down from lofty mountain grandeur and hear the brook and feel the gentle breeze. And when I think that God his son not sparing, sent him to die. I scarce can take it in. That on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation, and take me home, what joy shall fill my heart. Then I shall bow in humble adoration, and there proclaim, my God, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great now, he's a mighty God. He has power beyond our imagination. He is able to do exceedingly abundantly above what we can ask or even think. Whatever you need, God's got it. He's got everything that you need. 
And we are our heavenly father's children. And we know that he loves us. And if our father loves us, then he will provide us with what we need. If a father is a good father, if the child needs something, that father is going to try to provide what that child needs. Food, clothing, shelter, whatever that child needs. If he is a responsible father, if the parents are responsible parents, they're going to try to provide. And our father, God is our father, and he's greater than all. There's none greater than God. The psalmist said, I've been young, and now I'm old. I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. God will provide. God will provide. He provides for the birds. He provides for the animals. And he will provide for his children. We are our heavenly father's children. And God is love, and we should love one another. We talked about keeping the commandments. The greatest commandment is love. When, when they came and asked Jesus, what is the first and great commandment? Jesus said, the first and great commandment is to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy might, with all thy strength. And the second is likened to it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. If I love you, I'm not going to steal from you. If I love you, I'm not going to kill you. If I love you, I'm not going to speak evil against you. I'm not going to bear false witness against you. I'm going to tell the truth. Jesus said you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. So the love of God makes us all obedient to God's will. If I love God I'm certainly not going to take his name in vain. If I love God, I'm not going to make any graven image. I'm not going to bow down to any other image. I'm not going to serve any other. Jesus said, thou shalt love the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. I'm not going to serve any other God. There are false gods. There are idol gods. Some people make gods of all sorts of things. But the God that we serve, is the creator and maker of this entire universe. Stand up. Stand up for Jesus. Ye soldiers of the cross. Lift high his royal diadem. It must not suffer loss. I'm standing for God. And while I'm standing, I'm standing on the promises of Christ my King. Through eternal ages, let his praises ring. Glory in the highest, I will shout and sing. Standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises that cannot fail. Though the storms of doubt and fear assail. By the living word of God, we shall prevail. Standing on the promises of God, we're going to stand for God. And we're going to stand with Jesus. Jesus will give us power to stand. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Or who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart. He that hath not lifted up his soul to vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. God is still blessing us. Let the blessing of God flow. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. 
I'm standing for right and for righteousness. I don't believe in doing things that are against God. I don't believe in doing things that are not for God. I'm holding on to God's unchanging hand. I'm lifting up the blood-stained banner for my Lord. I'm lifting up the blood-stained banner for my Lord. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. God is our Savior. I thank you for listening to this radio ministry today. God is able. No burden is too heavy. No problem is too great. God is. God is. And besides him, there's none other. God is. Yes, standing. Standing for God. I'm standing up. I'm holding on to God's unchanging hand. I'm leaning on the everlasting, the everlasting, the everlasting arms. God is my strength and song, and he is become my salvation. He is a rock in a weary land. He's shelter in time of storm. He's water in dry places. He's bread in a starving land. He is the Alpha. He is the Omega. He the beginning. He is the end. He the first. And he is the last. He is before all things. And by him all things consist. Stand, standing for God. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I onward bound. Lord, plant my feet on high ground. Somebody stood in the days of old. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We know them by the name of Mishael, Ananias, and Azariah. They stood in the fiery furnace. Oh, Lord, not even the smell of smoke in their clothes. Not one has sinned. We know Daniel stood in the den of lions. Oh, Lord, God is, God is able to give us power to stand, strengthen the feeble knees, strengthen the weak hands, confirm the feeble knees, make straight paths for your feet. If I walk in the pathway of duty, if I work until the close of the day, I shall see the great king in his beauty. When I've gone the last mile of the way, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. He heard my cry. He pitied every groan. Long as I live while trouble rise, I'm a haste unto the throne. I came to Jesus. One Wednesday evening, I came to Jesus just as I was. I was weary. I was wounded. I was sad. I found in him a resting place. Now he has made me glad. Stand when the burdens get heavy. You stand when your friends turn their back on you. You stand. Stand for right and righteousness. By the living word of God, we shall prevail because we stand it. Hallelujah. We stand it. Burdens are heavy, but we stand it for God. God wants to save your soul. You need a savior. Without him, you can't make it. This world is full of trouble, but God is able. God is able to give you power to stand in the book, in the letter to the Ephesians. Paul said, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, having on the breastplate a righteousness, having your feet shod. In other words, after you've done everything, 
to stand, stand therefore. You know we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers, against principalities, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. But you can stand against the enemy. You can stand because God will give you power, power to stand. We can be more than conquerors through him that loves us. Oh, Lord, we can stand because Jesus promised he would stand with us. He said, Lord, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. He said, I will not leave you, neither will I forsake you. We can boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I shall not fear what man should do unto me. Oh, Lord, no matter what comes against you, if God gets your power, if God gives you strength, if God gives you victory, you can stand. I heard an old, old story about a Savior come from glory. His name is Jesus. He came on a mission. He came to seek and to save that which was lost. Do you know him? Do you know the Lord? Have you been born again? He's the son of David. He's the seed of Abraham. He's a stone hewn out of a mountain. He's a meek an humble lamb, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy, holy name, I love his name, Jesus, precious Savior, Jesus, wonderful God, Jesus, early in the morning, Jesus, late at night, I can call him, He's never too busy. He'll come to my rescue. Step in Jesus and rescue me. You stepped in a furnace a long time ago with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So farther up above, I know you rule the world. So step in Jesus and rescue me. The blind man stood at the pool one day. He heard to Jesus, would pass that way. His Lord, I'm blind, I cannot see. Step in Jesus and rescue me. I'm standing. I'm standing with the Lord. I'm standing. Paul said, Stand therefore in the liberty. You don't have to be bound. You know, when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when uh, they were put in the fiery furnace, uh, the furnace was so hot, but uh, the only thing it burned was the thing that bound them. So they were loose and set free and walked up and down. But, uh, oh Lord, you know how when you've been around someone that has been smoking, or if you have been smoking, and you can go around somebody else that has not been smoking and they can smell the smoke in your clothes. <laughs> they can smell the smoke that's in your hair. And you know, but uh, when, when they, when, when the king said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, look at these men walking up and down in the furnace of fire, not even trying to get out. But then he, the king said, come forth and come hither. They came out. Not even the smell of smoke was in their clothes. Not even one hair on the head was singed. What a mighty power. What a mighty power. These men stood. They wouldn't bow. All of Babylon was bowing. But they would not bow to that graven image. You know, the king made this great golden image, but they wouldn't bow. And, and the king said, uh, is this true? Do you not bow down to my image? Do you, do you not serve my God? <laughs> oh, Lord, they said, uh, we're not even careful 
how to answer the king in this matter. Uh, be it known unto you that our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the fiery furnace and from thy hand, O king. But if not, we know he's able. But if not, we still not going to bow. We still not going to serve. Now, we know he's able. That's not the question. <laughs> the question is, will he deliver us? We know he's able. <laughs> We're still not going to bow. We're going to serve the God of our creation. We're going to remain faithful to God. And our Lord and the king, when they came out of the fiery furnace, not a hair on the head was singed, and smell of smoke was not in their clothes. We know that they stood in the furnace of fire. We know Daniel stood in the lion's den. The same God that protected them can protect you today. Yes, he can. Oh, Lord, he can lengthen your life. If you want a short life, you can be disobedient to your parents. See, that's the first command we promise. promised. Oh, Lord, honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. It's one thing about it. If you be obedient to God, he will lengthen your days. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. God said because he set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he have known my name. What's his name? His name is Jesus. What's his name? His name is all my trust. He's the lily of the valley. He's the rose of Sharon. He's the bright and morning star. He's a rock in a weary land. He's shelter in time of storm. He's water in dry places. He's bread in a starving land. We love God because he first loved us. He brought us out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Let's walk in the light. It's a beautiful light. Come where the dew drops of mercy shine bright. Shine all around us by day and by night. Jesus is the light of the world. And we follow in him. Jesus said, he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have in him the light of life. Oh, Lord, let's walk in the light. We are the, you know, Jesus said, you're the light of the world. A city that sit upon a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. Let's stand up. Stand up for Jesus. Stand up for right and for righteousness. I love, I love his name, Jesus. He promised never to leave us all alone. I must tell Jesus. I must tell Jesus. I cannot bear these burdens alone. But Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He's a prayer here in God. He's a sin pardoning Savior. He loves you. Jesus loves you. You needed a Savior. That's why he left his throne. That's why he left his home in glory. Because you needed a Redeemer. Isaiah said, who is this? That coming from Edom. With dyed garments from Bozrah. This that is glorious in his apparel. 
traveling by the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness mighty to save. The record is all have seen and come short of the glory of God. That includes me. All have sinned. We've all missed the mark. But Jesus said, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come unto him and will sup with him and he with me. You know, Christ, he's at the door, not your natural door. He's at the door of your heart and mind. The secret chamber of your heart. And you have to open up your heart and let Jesus come in. And when you let him in, then you have a new life. Lord, I've seen. I've failed. I've come short of your glory. Lord, save my soul. You know you got an eternal soul. Within your physical frame, there is the spirit of the living God. And that part of you has to be born of God. You see, when somebody have not received Christ into the life, then they are spiritually dead. But Jesus said, he that heareth my voice and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. You see, you don't really come alive until you receive Christ into your life. He said, I am come that they might have life. See, the spirit has to be born. The spirit has to be born of God. If we're born of God, we become new creature. We take on his divine nature. God is a spirit. And we have to be spiritually born. See, you're born in the world physically, but now you have to be born of God spiritually. And until you have the new birth, the one Jesus was telling Nicodemus about, you must be born again. And Nicodemus said, how can a man be born? You have to be born of the spirit of the true God. And there's only one God. And he sent his son. To seek and to save that which was lost. And we all were lost. When man sinned, death entered into the world. And death was upon all men. But Jesus said, I'm come that they might have life. Only through Jesus can you receive life. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you try to get to God any other kind of way, you come as a thief and a robber. God sent his son. Now, he's, God says to you, believe in my son. Receive my son. And I'm going to give you what you do not deserve. I'm going to give you eternal life. You can't earn it. You can't buy it. You can't pay for it. It's got to be grace. Amazing grace, huh? How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. We are not redeemed with corruptible things like silver and gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. And we need to stand up. And proclaim the gospel, the everlasting gospel of salvation through Jesus Christ. No other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid. No other foundation. This is the stone that was set at naught of you builders. But now he's become the headstone of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven 
given among men whereby we must be saved. Jesus is the one. Surrendered his hands and feet to the nails. Being in each, before he left his home in glory. When he was in the form of God, he thought it not robbery to be equal with God. But you see, he came to save God's children. For as much then as the children were partakers of flesh and blood. Jesus, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil, and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. You don't have to be bound any longer. Paul said, stand fast therefore in the liberty. Somebody thought, they were set free when Abraham Lincoln emancipated the slaves. Somebody may have thought they were set free when, when they got out of doing a prison sentence. But I submit to you today, the only way you get true freedom is when you make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ have made us free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Jesus said, and if the Son shall make you free, you are free indeed. Nothing can hold you. If you're a child of God, nothing, no weapon that's formed against thee shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. We're Christ. We belong to Christ. We're more than conquerors to him that loved us. Who can lay anything to the charge of God's elect? There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Jesus said, I'm going to remove your sin as far as the east is from the west. I am going I'm going to throw your sin into a sea of forgetfulness. I'm not going to remember your sin anymore. I'm going to wash them all away. Because if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. And behold, all things have become new. We've been changed. We have been changed. We are bought with a price, the blood of Christ, much more precious than the blood of all those slain animals. We're redeemed by the blood. What could wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What could make me whole again? I was broken. I was scattered in pieces. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow. That makes me white as snow. No other help I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow. That makes me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. I'm standing. When you, when you stand with Jesus, he's standing with you. We can boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I shall not fear what man shall do unto me. We're standing for the Lord. We're, we're doing kingdom building. We're building a bridge across the divide. We're building it strong. We're building it wide. God gave me the plan, and I'm going through. I'll make it somehow. But how about you? Do you know the Lord? Have you been born again? Have you been born of his spirit? Have you been washed in his blood? Have you been born? Have you been born? Have you been washed? In the blood of the Lamb. Oh Lord. 
Jesus, our Savior, took the cross upon himself. He bare the cross up Golgotha Hill on up Mount Calvary. Can't you picture in your mind him with the cross heavy on his shoulder making his way up Mount Calvary. Oh Lord, the burden was almost unbearable. It was a bitter cup, but he had received strength. The angels had strengthened him, and he went, oh Lord, bearing the cross, oh Lord, up Mount Calvary. They compelled a man, a man by the name of Simon, the Syrian, to carry the cross after him. And somebody many years later said, must Jesus bear the cross alone and all oh, the world go free? No, there's a cross for everyone. And there is a cross for me, the consecrated cross I bear till death shall set me free and then go home my crown to wear. For there is a crown for me. When they got to the top of Mount Calvary, they nailed his hands. They nailed his feet. They lifted him up between heaven and earth. They lifted him up between two thieves. But he had said, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. Jesus is the Savior. He is our blessed Redeemer. He is our hope. He has begotten us unto a lively hope. He shed his blood. The blood flowed from his veins. Oh Lord, there's a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners plunged. Have you been plunged? And sinners plunged beneath the flood. Lose all their guilty stains. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Jesus. Oh Lord. Hung out there. Hung out there. For your sin and for mine. And not for ours only, but for the whole entire world. He hung out there. He said, Eli, Eli, la sabachthani. That means my God, my God. Why has thou forsaken me? He said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He said, I thirst. Oh, Lord, they gave him vinegar to drink. Oh, Lord, he said, woman, behold thy son. He said, behold thy mother. Oh, Lord, Jesus. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, he said, I thirst. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, he hung out there, bearing our sin, bearing our weaknesses. Bearing our shortcomings, bearing our infirmity. Oh Lord, he died, but before he died, he said, Father, in the thy hand, I commend my spirit. He cried with a loud voice, and then he died. He died. He died. There was a rumbling, there was a shaking. Darkness covered the earth from the sixth to the ninth hour. An earthquake. Oh, Lord, the sky became dark. It looked dark like night. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, the centurion took the spear, the javelin, pierced him in the side. Blood and water came out. Somebody says, surely, surely, this was the son of God. 
They took his body from the cross. They laid it in the tomb. On the third day, on the third day, which was the first day of the week, he rose, he rose, he rose from the dead. And now he lives. He said, I'm he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I'm alive forevermore. I have the keys of hell and of death. I open the door. And when I open it, no man can shut it. I shut the door. And when I shut it, no man can open it. I'm the root and the offspring of David. I'm the bright and morning star. I'm the lion of the tribe of Judah. I'm the lamb of God. Oh, Lord, do you know him? Ain't he all right? Won't he open doors? Won't he work a miracle in your life? Do you know him? Do you know him? He's the son of David. He's the seed of Abraham. He's a stone hewn out of a mountain. He's a meek and humble lamb. But do you know him? Paul said that I may know him. And the power of his resurrection. And the fellowship of his suffering. Being made conformable unto his death. Lest by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Do you know him? Won't you stand with him? Won't you stand for him? In these perilous times. In this wicked world. Won't you stand on Christ? Stand for Christ. Stand for the right thing. Don't do the wrong thing. Let no filthy communication proceed out of your mouth. Speak as an oracle of Almighty God. Speak the words that are sober and true. Speak the words of God in his law. You should meditate day and night. God's word is a lamp unto my feet. God's word is a light unto my path. I'm standing with Jesus. I'm standing for Jesus. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. Oh, Lord, stand up and be counted among those that are sanctified. And we want to stand until Christ and Christ is coming back for his people without a spot, without a wrinkle. Standing, Paul said, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering being made conformable unto his death, lest by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead, not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which I am apprehended of, Christ Jesus. If for Christ, I proclaim the glad story. If I seek for his sheep gone astray, I know there are joys that await me. When I've gone the last mile of the way, we want to say like Paul, I fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. <laughs> Keep the faith. When the enemy come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Standing on the promises of God, standing with Jesus, we are more than conquerors through him that loves us. Standing, who can lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemneth? 
It's Christ that died, yea, rather, that's risen again, who also maketh intercession for us. We're standing for the Lord. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever Amen For those who are hurting And we're a harbor for those who are lost Oh, but sometimes it's not always easy Bearing Calvary's cross We've been Ridiculed by those who don't know him And mocked by those who don't believe Still I love standing up for my Jesus After all that he's done for me Ashamed of the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ. No, I am not afraid to be counted, yet I'm willing to give my. me to be give up all the wrong for all the right no I am not ashamed of the gospel no I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Give up all the wrong for 